I have heard the pathetic claim that I am not a master tactician. If I am not a master tactician with an uncanny ability to predict my enemy's moves, then why was I the most valuable defensive player? Why was I getting 20 plus steals a fucking game when the length of the game wasn't as long as the NBA? Wasn't even as long as the college when they divide it in two halves instead of four quarters. Why was I stealing the fucking ball so many times? And I tell you this, it takes a master thief to understand when a bunch of woods have stolen his history. I trained at a dojo with a bunch of white people and look what the fuck I got out of it. Victory. Victory. I am a great warrior, a master tactician, a master of defense and self-defense, of group coordination and predicting my enemy and exploiting his weakness. Do you want to fuck with me? I am a better fighter than Bruce Lee, and I am more pissed off than he is as well. And my connection to Ra and the Chi is more potent than his, even in spirit. I would venture to say. So you tell me, Mr. White Man. Do you really want to fuck with God? God sent Jesus. Jesus appealed to Saul on the way to Damascus. God granted Moses the power of prophecy. God granted the Israelites the power to prophesy. Saul, God came to Manasseh when he had betrayed the Lord. I was tricked by the devils. The idea was reinforced in my head by my parents, by my own family. And even then, I do not excuse my own part in it. They had me play the role of executioner of my own child, thinking it's in my best interest, while well, really they were concerned with the best interest of the state. They didn't want another Mecca. You see, they didn't want another little Chukwa Mecca. They didn't want another Aero Chuku. They didn't want another Chukwa and Mecca or Juku. They didn't want another Nat Turner. They didn't want another Marcus fucking Garvey. They didn't want another Patrice Lumumba. They didn't want another Malcolm X. They didn't want another Kashta, Shabaka. They didn't want another Ramses to defeat their Middle Eastern secret societies, their Eastern thoughts as well, and they did not want the number one threat to the white power structure to be able to stand against them with his wings spread. And the number one threat to the white devil is those who stand by God. I did not earn this trophy beating the white man's fucking ass for no reason. I did not become the most valuable defensive player for no fucking reason. I understand when there's an incoming attack, whether the bootlickers like it or not. I understand when something's going wrong, whether the bootlickers like it or not. And I understand when somebody's plotting to harm me or my people, whether the bootlickers like it or not. They have no insight. None. I have trophies. Because of my superior foresight. So don't you sit there like a bunch of blind idiots. And tell a prophet that he can't see. And tell a prophet that he is out of touch. None of you know the will of God. 
and none of you know when the devil is plotting on you. I know both. And the spirit of my uncle is even stronger than the spirit of 1776 when all you woods were plotting in the woods inside of a house made of wood. And who are you plotting on behalf? Did, did you do it because you love the people? Did you protect the people? Did you put your nuts on the anvil to get bashed by some Nazi's fucking hammer who thinks he's Thor? Did you? Did you put your life and reputation on the line? Did you tell the white devils how it is? Or did I? I'll see you there, you fucking woods. And go ahead and approach me with your guns drawn. It will just escalate the situation. 